Hello friends and welcome to edupediawall.com In today's video we are going to learn Los Números y la Edad The Numbers and the Age in Spanish As usual, I recommend you to repeat after me We'll start with the numbers from 0 to 10 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 2 2 2 3 3 3 This might be the pronunciation of this might be tricky 3 4 4 4 5 Five, cinco, cinco, seis, six, seis, 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 seis. Siete. Seven. Si e te. Siete. Siete. Ocho. 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 Eight. Ocho. Nueve, 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 nine, nueve, diez, 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 ten, diez. So you just need to memorize these numbers from 0 to 10 because you will need them later on to say to to learn bigger numbers, right? Now from 10 to 20. Diez, we have seen it already. But still once again, diez. Once, 11. Once, once, doce, 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 twelve, doce, trece, thirteen. Tre fe. Tre fe. Trece. Catorce. Fourteen. Catorce. 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 Quince, fifteen. Quince, quince, quince. Dieciséis, sixteen. Dieciséis, 
16 16 If you look at it closer you can see that it is made up with 10 and 6 10 and 6 16 Same with 17 17 17 17 18 18 18 18 18 19 19 19 19 19 20 20 20 20 And now I'll show you a little trick to help you memorize the numbers from 20 to 29, ok? 20 20 21 21 22 22 23 23 24 24 25 25 26 26 27 27 28, 28, 29, 29. As you can see on the screen, the, the first part of the word of, of every number starts with the, with the word 20. Actually, it is 20, 20, without the final E. So, 20. Then you add an E. I and then the number one, two, three, four, five, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. That's a small trick just to help you memorize them and write them. There are a few more tricks to help you learn the numbers from 30 to 100. Uh, part of these numbers you will just need to learn them and memorize them, and then you can find some tricks to learn the others. For example, the numbers you have to learn and memorize are 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50, 60, 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 90, 90, 100. hundred. Repeat with me. Veinte. Treinta. Cuarenta. Cincuenta. Sesenta. Setenta, ochenta, noventa, cien. So these were the numbers that you actually have to memorize. And now let's see a trick, un truco, to help you learn the rest of the numbers those going from 30 to 40 41 to 49 and so on and so forth so for example here 30 y uno, 31 if you can see 31 is formed by 30 30 the word e and and the number
number uno. One. Thirty plus one. Thirty-one. Treinta y uno. Same happen with forty-three, for example. Cuarenta y tres. Formed by cuarenta and tres. Cuarenta y tres. Uh, the pattern keeps on going with every single number from 31 to 99 except the, the ones I already told you, right? For example, again, 55, 55 is made by 50, 50 y and cinco, five, fifty-five, cinquenta y cinco. Same happens for with, for example, sesenta y ocho, sixty-eight. From with by from by sesenta y ocho, sesenta and ocho, sixty and eight. Once again, the same with, for example, another number such as 97, 97. Form again by the, by the numbers 90, 90, and 7, 7. And linked by the word E, meaning and, you know, a link used to to actually link two words, two sentences. Noventa y siete. So now that we know the basic numbers and how they are formed and everything, uh, let's practice with the age. Vamos a practicar con la edad. I would say, tengo 25 años. I'm 25 years old. Mi abuela tiene 82 años. My grandma is 82 years old. Tu hijo tiene 11 años. Your son is 11 years old. Tienes 35 años. You are 35 years old. I think you can see the pattern of the verbs and how we use it. For example, as, you, as you've seen, we use first a verb, then the, the number, the actual age, and then the, the word años, years. So, what would you ask when you're asking about the age? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Meaning, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? ¿Cuántos años tienes? The literal meaning of this sentence translated literally would be How many years do you have? What would be the answer? Tengo X años. For example, as I said before, tengo 25 años. I'm 25 years old. I'm X years old. Literal meaning, I have 25 years old. Okay? And it is good that you know that in, in Espanol, in Spanish, we use the verb tener when we talk about the age. Tener means to have. In Spanish, we don't use the verb to be when we're talking about the age. We always use the verb to have, tener. So that's a thing that you should keep in mind. We'll look into this deeper later in the program and the syllabus, but just so you know um, how, how you use this verb, okay? The, the words you see in the left column of the pronouns, we'll see, we'll see it later again, but 
Just so you know, yo, I, tú, you, singular. Él, ella, he, she. Nosotros, nosotras. The ad symbol is used in Spanish informally uh, to, to save actually space and writing instead of instead of writing nosotros we male nosotras we female eh, we use the the ad and same happens with vosotros vosotras you plural female male female and ellos ellas they male female and the verb how, how would you read the verb yo tengo i have tú tienes you have él ella tiene he or she has nosotros nosotras tenemos we have vosotros vosotras tenéis you have ellos ellas tienen they have don't freak out with this and don't worry about it about it uh, we'll look at it in the future but i just wanted you to to know this verb and maybe even to memorize it memorize it so you can use the the age right you could say ellos tienen 15 años they are 15 years old for example right so don't freak out Yes, try to memorize the numbers, try to understand it. And this was all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And for the next one, we are gonna go deeper into the numbers. Uh, we'll learn how in the Spanish world use the phone numbers, for example, and some simple math in Spanish, so just so you know. And yeah, once again, thanks for watching and hasta la próxima. See you later.